Hello everyone, it's me Ellie from Express Themes. I'm here with yet another video of our free new theme that is Store Villa. So this is a video tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can configure header settings of this theme. Well, this is the demo site of our new theme that is Store Villa. It is a new e-commerce theme which has highly integrated WooCommerce features. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload this logo or have your site title and how you can have this and such. So let me start by logging to our WordPress. Then the first thing you need to do is oh, go to appearance and then click on customize. Here in customize, we're going to first set site identity. That is currently we have no logo uploaded so right now it's taking the site title as you can see the site title and its tagline which you can change as per your requirement then here you can also add a site icon that is a fab icon which will appear in each tab of the browser sorry each tab like this so you can uh, select an image from here you can select any image which you want to put it as a fab icon. Well, I'm going to select one. All right, let us select this one. You can crop also if you want then crop image as you can see we have this in our fab icon now we need to save and publish this change well if you want a, a logo on your site then you can upload it from here click on select logo and select an image I'm not going to crop this image. I'm going to just keep cropping and publish it as it is. So and click on save and publish. Now you will have your site logo and its site title and tagline. If you don't want to show this, then you can simply uncheck this thing and click on save and publish. So this is the thing you can do with logo and site identity, sorry, site identity with the site icon. Now the next thing you can do is select, sorry, go to header image. You can also add a background image on the header or you can say header image like click on add new image. Select an image. I'm selecting an image with size 1024 by 294 pixel. Just select and crop. I'm going to skip cropping. And uh, it will appear like this if you want to have any image there. So you can have your custom image there. Well, I'm not going to put any image right now. And click and sorry, click save and publish. Then next thing that you can do is here in header option. You have the option to enable or disable the stop header which is this one you can enable this header if you don't like it there by clicking disable it will not show there and you also have the option to have two types of layout here that is with top navigation that is you can have your own custom menu here separate menu from primary menu or you can have a quick info and where you can put your email, phone number, address, and such. You can, okay, let us con configure this quick info. You can put here your font awesome icon for a small icon, which you can get from font awesome. Uh, you can just Google font awesome icon and you will find a website there, which will provide you this text. Then you can put your email address. Then here in phone, 
icon you need to put your phone number I'm just putting anything then in this address icon I'm gonna put uh, our company address After this, you can also put your shop opening time. Okay, maybe uh, maybe nine a.m. to seven p.m. And then click on save and publish now after this let's go to our front end and see the change this is the front end of our site where we have removed the uh, navigation bar and have kept a quick info bar with the email address your uh, phone number address and your opening and closing time and such so these are the things that we did here Now let's go back. Let's refresh this page once again. So these are the things that you can do with your header settings that is upload a logo identity and have this area and uh, all these things. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any confusion regard, regarding any steps that I have done here, then you can always refer to our online documentation that we have it in our theme detail page of Store Villa. You can find here documentation. You can click it and you will have a detailed page with all the steps of building your site with our theme so you can find configuring header and you'll find all the steps here so i hope this video is helpful to you and uh, you can always contact our support if you need any help from us so thank you very much take care